Good afternoon. So a colleague of mine shared this uh, article with me that Duke University started a novel decontamination method of the N95 masks using hydrogen peroxide. So let's take a look. They're decontaminating the standard N95 respirators to alleviate the current shortages. And recently even uh, OSHA temporarily suspended the requirement to perform annual fit testing. So they're trying to save respirators as much as they can. Yes, the shortage with personal protective equipment is quite apparent at this point. At Duke, they already have a number of systems. In a previous FDA-funded study, Duke University researchers demonstrated that they can reuse, re-sterilize these masks uh, up to 50 times, which is pretty impressive. In their biosafety level 3 facility, they already have hydrogen peroxide vapor decontamination systems that are looks like produced by Ecolab. So this is a relatively large size system that you roll into the room and uh, use it to disinfect. Now, while in their FDA funded study after 50 cycles, they started to see degradation of elastic straps. So for their protocol, they're using 30 cycles. What is interesting is their total time of operation. So first they need to get up to roughly 500 ppm of hydrogen peroxide vapor in the room. They need to gas for 25 minutes and they're using very high concentration of hydrogen peroxide around 35%. They have a dwell time of 20 minutes and some undisclosed, but I would imagine relatively long time for the, the, the room to clear. So this clearly can be done over a long period of time. So this is not in between patients, but this is something that a hospital can do overnight. They've also evaluated decontamination by using a surrogate spore organism, and they observe a six log reduction, which is pretty interesting. Uh, after the process completes, the masks still retain the smell of hydrogen peroxide, but that goes away after four hours. So this looks like a wonderful opportunity for uh, other researchers to develop systems using hydrogen peroxide vapor or other aggressive uh, volatile chemistries for reuse of these respirators. Let's get to work, guys.